it's not. Okay. So one more time. Um, my name is Margaret. I own a business in Pittsburgh called Blue Monkey Tea Company uh, since 2002. And today I will be talking about tea. It will be specifically design session for tea beginners or people who already drink tea but they just kind of want to brush up on their tea knowledge a little bit. So this uh, today we'll, I will talk about buying tea, steeping tea, and enjoying tea. Uh, the uh, first up, let's talk about uh, types of tea. First, uh, there's real tea, uh, which comes from plant tea plant called Camellia sinensis, and there is some um, so-called tea that people call tea, but usually it's made, it's pretty much made from other botanicals. And the main difference will be the real tea has caffeine, while the other non-teas, herbals or tisans as we call them, they don't have any caffeine. They usually um, from, you know, they're by nature are caffeine free. Uh, the <clears throat> There's also a lot of um, antioxidants, polyphenols, in uh, real tea. Um, now, botanicals, herbs, also have some um, properties, and each one of them is slightly different. And we like to use them like uh, chamomile for sleep. Uh, we can use ginger for um, upset stomach or um, nausea. So these are examples of health benefits of herbs. Now, tea from Camellia sinensis, true tea, has a huge health benefit because of the enormous amount of antioxidants. Also, there's some caffeine, like I said, but don't worry, there's only about one third of caffeine of coffee. Uh, now, speaking of real tea from Camellia sinensis, depending on how leaves are processed after harvesting, uh, the tea will be made into different types of uh, tea and they will be called uh, by color. So I have black tea, here I have Assam, we have green tea, Sencha for example, oolong and white tea. These are four basic tea types and they all come from the same plant, Camellia sinensis. The tea plant likes to grow in a warm, humid climate. So most tea comes from countries like China, India, Japan, Sri Lanka, Kenya. There is few more countries that grow tea. We even have at least three tea plantations here in the US. Now, I told you that regular tea has caffeine um, however, the tea, true tea, can be decaffeinated. And for example, um, you can make decaffeinated, well, this is strawberry decaf. Uh, this is done uh, by special process. Uh, they basically remove caffeine like they do it with coffee. But they're not totally caffeine free. There'll be always a tiny little bit of caffeine left up to 3% of the original content. Real tea will be either pure, uh, straight up, or it could be flavored. So we can have, let's say, black tea Assam, as I have here on my table, or it could be, for example, blueberry black tea, or strawberry black tea, or ginger peach. So this is still true tea but it's been flavored and might have few other ingredients in it that will be um, we'll get a flavor from that and um, let's see sorry I'm taking a little technical break here I want to see everyone hi Andrea hi Bella hi Michelle hi Susan hi Robert hi Nina 
welcome and hi everybody else whom i don't see here because you don't comment but i know there is quite a few people watching today um i'm very glad that you guys found time to watch me i hope everyone is drinking some tea what are you guys drinking it's kind of a gloomy day here in pittsburgh it's like mid-august but I don't mind. It's actually a little cooler today. Good time for what? For hot tea. Okay. Uh, so let's switch to... I'm talking about real tea. Um, i cover this. Um, both real tea and tisans. They can be sold in um, two forms, either loose or tea bags. And um, there's always a little bit, quite a bit of advantage from using tea in a loose leaf. And I will go, I'm going to show you why, but there's really not, nothing really bad about drinking tea bags. I mean, if you guys are used to drinking tea in tea bags, just go for it. Uh, I'm not going to criticize anyone. So, but just to give you an example here, this is uh, black tea from the tea bag. Um, you see the difference? This is nice, full leaf, uh, rich in flavor. It's going to be stronger tasting. And then we have uh, kind of like a, more like a dust um, or very tiny little particles that um, they use in tea bags. You get it. You get the idea. Usually, tea bags are strongly flavored, so people get more uh, taste out of them. But if you are um, interested in uh, learning and experience experiencing uh, true tea, especially pure tea without added flavor, I totally recommend loose leaf tea. Um, okay. How do we make tea? You will need water, tea, and few simple utensils. Uh, it's good to have filtered or spring water, but tap water is usually fine too, as long as it doesn't have like a strong chlorine taste. Don't ever use hot water from the faucet because that water was sitting in your water tank and it's not going to taste good. Uh, when you buy tea, uh, try to buy tea from reputable sources, from stores that are specialized, and uh, the staff is knowledgeable, so um, they can answer your tea questions. Uh, we're trying to do um, this here. We've been pretty successful. Our customers um, keep coming back, and we um, always answer questions, um, and everybody who works here has a pretty good um, tea knowledge. So when you look for tea, look for places that will um, offer um, not just tea, but also um, the expertise. Um, and ask questions, ask questions. And try to learn more about tea before you actually shop for tea. So I'm trying to, I'm sorry, I'm trying to turn the volume down here on my gadget because it's, I'm talking here and I'm talking here too. Sorry, guys. And hi, hi, Robert. I think I already said that. Let's see the volume is here. And try to learn more about Okay. This um, let's let's talk about steeping because in order to make tea, you might want to know how to make the tea and in a way that you're going to enjoy it um, the be in the best way possible. Uh, yeah. Okay. Pause. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, so how how's everybody? And um, this Carlet, hi on Instagram and everybody else. 
uh, it's uh, I can this is this also gives me it's loud I'm loud if you uh, it's a really good idea to have a um, kettle uh, electric kettles are the best they actually shut off automatically you can take them off the base you can set them up anywhere you like um, and they have um, a lot now they make them um, there's a lot of kettles out there that have a temperature control we just got this this is a new model from adagio i love it it has um, settings for 150 165 180 195 and 212 and also you can simmer your water keep, keep it at the desired temperature for up to half an hour uh, many people ask how much tea should they get and i usually recommend um the average amount that people like to buy is about four ounces and that's about how much fits in that one tin. Four ounces will make about 20, 25 mugs of tea, of good tea. And many teas like oolongs, white tea, green tea can be re-steeped. So you get more out of it. Um, if you, a couple things, other things to have apart from a kettle, either a uh, I know a lot of people just want to have a mug, that's fine, or you can have a teapot. Uh, these teapots come actually with the infuser, but a uh, teapot is not meant to go on the stove. They're, they will crack. Even the cast iron teapots are not really meant for boiling water. Just boil water in a separate kettle, okay? Uh, so we got tea. We got water, we got a couple utensils, and the simplest way to make tea will be using a tea infuser. Um, I have a classic tea bowl here. I also have one that's a little bigger and it has a little spring here. It's very easy to use. And this is one of my favorites. Um, it's very easy to use and it goes really like down in the cup all the way to the bottom so you get it's totally submerged in water and it's easy to remove and even has a little tray here this out. let's make some tea so things to keep in mind make sure you use the proper amount and the average amount of tea per mug is two teaspoons. A lot of times you see recipe that says use one teaspoon per cup. Now this is a cup. This is a American cup, which is a mug. And that usually, it usually holds about anywhere between 10 and 14 ounces of water. So to make it, um, as a general rule, you steep about two teaspoons of tea per mug. Let's make some green tea. Uh, green tea is delicate, so you don't want to use water that's too hot. Uh, we use water of about 180 degrees temperature. Two teaspoons right here. Put in the mug. And water should be at 180 degrees or less because if you use hot water and you steep too long that's another thing i'm going to tell you in a minute the tea will get bitter and there's absolutely no reason for that you're gonna hate it and you're probably never gonna drink green tea again and it's just so good for you so 180 degrees in two minutes there we go then if making black tea uh, we're using also about two teaspoons per mug and I'm going to use my cute little infuser here with the leaf two 
two teaspoons per mug. One, two. These are special tea measures, but it's equivalent of one teaspoon, which I'm sure everybody has at home. always um, okay we're going to boil it up to 212 um, and meanwhile we're almost done here with steeping green tea oolong tea uh, we and white white tea and oolong uh, very similar steeping instructions 190 degrees for about three minutes. That's my recommended way of steeping oolong or white tea. Uh, we're almost done with steeping of the green tea. I'm using water temperature 180 degrees and I'm steeping for two minutes, no longer than that. Don't steep longer than two minutes. This is the color, okay? It's not supposed to get any darker than that. Sometimes it has like a little yellow tinge, but this is, um, a lot of people try to steam green tea so it looks, and they want it to look like black tea. It's not gonna happen. This is how it looks. This is the natural beauty of the green tea. Here we go. Now let's make black tea. Black tea, we use, for, for steeping of the black tea, we use hot, hot, hot boiling water, 212. And uh, I'm going to steep for four minutes. Four minutes. Okay, this is good. Black tea, 212 degrees, and we steep for four minutes minutes guys meantime you can sing a song or something or um, just keep looking observing enjoying it's it's so relaxing isn't it for green tea I use this little infuser with a cat with the lucky so we got oh when you make tisans herbal teas we recommend um super hot very hot water and about six minutes sometimes even longer because they don't get bitter so if you leave your infuser in um with the herbal tea longer that's fine it's usually not, not gonna oversteep it's still gonna taste good this is another like i said i love this infuser in fact the bigger the infuser the better because leaves can open up and you get more out of your tea uh if they're like squeezed up in a small tea bowl small infuser some of them might not even fully open and you don't get the um uh, ingredients from the leaf in your cup okay steeping 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 uh, eventually it's also very individual and some people like their tea less strong so you can experiment you can try with one teaspoon uh, but please try to observe the temperature and uh, proper temperature and timing that's gonna make tea much better uh, people ask, what can I add to tea? Anything, like literally anything. Milk, um, sugar, honey, sweetener, whatever um, makes this tea more pleasurable for you. However, if you want to become like a true tea connoisseur, um, try, to, try teas without anything added first. And once you develop taste, for teas and you know what to look for while tasting them you're going to enjoy them uh, it's gonna change your your taste perception is gonna change and you are into this new whole 
world of teas that you probably never even thought about uh, trying before. It's, it's a great skill to be able to taste the specific notes and you have to do it very mindfully. Uh, there's another way of making tea. You can make iced tea, which I know a lot of people like, um, and it is so simple. I will show you that on the example of, here's our black tea, almost done steeping. You see, the, this is green tea. This is about the color it's supposed to be, uh, and this is black tea, so it's uh, dark amber color which you probably know what it looks like but green tea should really never look like this so if your green tea looks like this that means that you are over steeping how do we store tea uh, the best way to store is in a cool dry place uh, and the tea stores pretty well uh, for several months or even years and um, just uh, keep it like either in an OPAC container like this Always match, try to match the amount of tea to the size of the container so you don't have too much air inside. Air will um, age your tea quicker. Oh, and this one actually has a little tray. How is that? Let me show you how to make iced tea. I'm going to use a mug because I just want to show you the proportions of how we make it. So there's a couple different ways of making it. You can do it with um, hot, make, make it hot and add ice to it, or you can make cold brew. Uh, when making hot tea, uh, we're going to use about the same amount of tea as we use for hot tea. So let's say, let's make some black tea. We have really nice iced tea makers, uh, Takeya, that um, I want to show you. A lot of people love them. They're very convenient. They fit in the fridge, in the door. Uh, selling them really well, I have to say. And I love it. I have one at home. I have one here. Uh, my iced tea consumption definitely went up because of that. Okay, let's make some iced tea. I'm just going to show you how to make one cup of iced tea. So I'm going to steep. We're just using half of the amount of water as if we were uh, using for making iced tea. I'm sorry, hot tea. So you make double strength, okay? This is going to be double strength. When you make green tea, you steep for two minutes and use cooler water. So first you make tea like if you were making hot tea, except that you make a double strength. Uh, we're gonna give it a few more minutes. Just uh, make sure it, it infuses well. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna show you, this is the Takeya iced tea maker with a nice long infuser. It will hold um, a, a good amount of tea. I usually recommend four tablespoons. This is two quarts. So you make half of the container of hot tea and then you remove, you steep for a prescribed number of minutes. And then you remove the infuser with tea. And they even have like a little nice cup here, a dripping cup. And you add ice to it fill it up with ice or you can make a cold brew which means that you will just fill it all the way up with cold water and of course you place your tea in the infuser and then fill it up with cold water and you keep it in the fridge for about 12 hours and then the tea is ready so let's assume that this is already steeped And I have a cup here filled with ice, and all I have to do, fill this up, and voila, iced tea is ready, just like that. Let's have some. Oh my goodness, freshly brewed iced tea from Loose Leaf.
No sweetener, nothing. Delicious. I became an iced tea drinker. I can't believe it. In Poland, where I'm from, hot tea, only hot tea. Uh, and so I had my first iced tea much, much later in my life here. And um, I still love hot tea, even on hot days. I think this is all I want to tell you today. It's, um, let's just review. Um, first off, buy your tea in a reputable place, either store, um, actual physical store or online, but do more research and read reviews first about teas. And then it's a really good idea to ask them a question about tea and see if they really know their teas because that will mean that they are an experts and they can recommend tea to you it would be really bad if they were selling tea not not even knowing what they're selling uh, buy proper amount of tea and like i said usually most people buy about four ounces now if you just want to try some tea you can buy two ounces that's going to make about 10 maybe 12 mugs of tea and um, use, when you steep tea, use pro good water. Also, I forgot to mention, bring water to boil. Overboiled water will lose oxygen, air, and it will, will make your tea taste flat. Uh, use proper amount of tea, and recommended amount is two teaspoons per mug. Two teaspoons per mug. Although, if you have bulkier like herbs or some white tea for example that are bulkier you might want to just you might want to up it to about three or four teaspoons uh, also um, so we got two teaspoons we got water now for black tea the recommended temperature is hot hot 212 and we see four minutes for a green tea lower temperature by 180 degrees 180 degrees or even less and we steep only two minutes two minutes white tea temperature should be about 190 degrees uh, oolongs similar oolongs and white tea i steep in 190 degrees water and i steep it for uh, about three minutes <laughs> and herbals six minutes hot water as long as you want because they don't get better now if you uh, don't have thermometer I mean you can use any kitchen thermometer to uh, measure your water temperature I'd say for um, oolong tea just wait a couple minutes the water should be open the lid of your kettle and the water should cool off to about 190 uh, in about two minutes for green tea, you might want to wait a little longer, three or four minutes. And it really makes a difference. And um, so I covered the steeping time and uh, quantity and water temperature. Um, speaking of herbs, uh, there are pure herbs, like we have about 70 of them here in stock, uh, like elderberries, chamomile, passion flower, uh, valerian root, uh, but they can also come in the form of blends. Um, a lot of people, for example, are looking for um, blends that will boost immune system. This is one of our uh, best seller right now. It's called Flu Fighter. Um, it contains uh, green tea, echinacea, elderberries, rose hip, uh, goji berries, mango, sage. And uh, this, um, another, probably the most popular blends of herbs used in the United States of America and probably all over the world are teas that promote sleep and teas, when I say teas, um, they're not real tea, they're herbs, um, teas that promote sleep and relaxation. And this is our best selling probably herbal blend called Triple Z for sleep um, and contains um, lemon balm, lemongrass, valerian, chamomile, passion flower, uh, lavender and rose hips. It's pretty yummy too. So I have um, probably a few more minutes left here for questions. If anybody would like to ask me a question 
Uh, you can also ask questions after this session, and I will be glad to answer them. You can send questions to 100 teacups, T-E-A-C-U-P-S, at gmail.com. Or you can post them on Facebook or Instagram. Message me. And um, I hope from now on everyone will enjoy their cup of tea. And you will drink more tea. It's good for you. Take care. <laughs>